increasing chance of rain a few days out. And we really do need the rain. We actually have some rain on the radar right now out towards our east, Doug, but it's not a big washout in any area so far. As you take a look at what's happening on the high resolution radar, you're able to see that shower activity continue to push its way uh, through parts of Hunt County, also stretching our way down through parts of Delta County. That's where we've seen the rain hold together, and we are continuing to do so. And we will, as we go through the next few hours, see that rain hold together. As we zoom our way down just a bit more, you're able to see where we did see some heavy rain in some spots. Still right now near Quitman, we do have one very welcome shower dropping some heavier rain as we travel off towards the north and the east near Cooper, also near Sulphur Springs. That where we saw, that's where we saw some rain work its way through. Mount Pleasant saw a thunderstorm where they had an aerial flood advisory in effect. And in some spots, we have picked up as much as two and a half inches of rain right near Cooper. Also, you can see a very just a little bit south of that, almost an inch of rain in some localized spots. And it's rain that we do need here in North Texas. Fort Worth right now remaining dry, 92 degrees after a high today of 98 and a southeast wind at 15 miles per hour holding on, sitting at 91 for Dallas, 88 DFW. Uh, those winds are out of the southeast near 15 to 20. So we are dealing with temperatures right now that are the upper 80s to the lower 90s in some spots. We are going to see those temperatures drop down into the upper 70s to the low 80s tonight, still sitting at 82 right now near Bowie, but where we had some rain, Sulphur Springs right now sitting at 78. So overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, we're down into the upper 70s for the majority of our reporting stations across the Metroplex. And then going into tomorrow, our temperatures are going to be about 97 to maybe 98 in some spots with mostly sunny skies sticking around in the forecast. So we're continuing to keep our eyes on an area of high pressure that's going to be off towards our north and the northeast, rounding out the week. Now, what happens is that starts to break down, and as that breaks down, it opens up the door for an area of low pressure to develop in parts of the Gulf, drift its way from the southeast to the northwest. As that gets closer, our moisture content really increases here in the southern plains, and that's why going into Labor Day, we have the potential of some much needed rain. I know the timing is not great. You really would like it to be dry all day on your Labor Day for that pool party, but we're going to see those rain chances go up to about 40%. So the Saturday and Sunday portion of the holiday weekend, not too bad, but then the rain returns going into Labor Day and then it continues as we go into next week. So dry and hot, even humid the next few days. Small rain chances on Sunday at 10%, then going to 40% on Labor Day, holding at 30%. Also for Tuesday and Wednesday, with high temperatures though thankfully down into the low 90s as we go into next month. Even you're watching CBS 11 News, the ones for Texas weather. We'll be right back.